Yo, what is up, guys? Instead of showing you it working, I'm just gonna get right to the video because you guys skip it anyway. So enjoy. Yo, what is up, guys? So I'm going to be showing you how to get the Recast emulator on your Android smartphone and how to get it up and running. So first, what you want to do is go into the Play Store and then download Recast. Recast. There you go. Now, while that is installing, you want to go into Chrome. Then what you want to do is type in Dreamcast. BIOS MU Paradise. <clears throat> All right. So then, you, what you want to do is click on the first link that says Chankast. Chank Chankas. The Sega Dreamcast Chankas recommended BIOS set. So you want to click on that, and then it starts to install. So then, what you want to do is get this app called ES File Explorer. The app is no longer in the App Store. So what you want to do is. Click, go into Google and search this up. You want to type in esfileexplorer.apk. And then it should be the first link. You click on the first link, hit latest version, and then hit download. <clears throat> and then it will start to download. It may say this file can harm your device. Do you want to keep ES File Explorer? You hit OK. And then when you hit that, Another feature pop up that says open. You want to click on open and then install. It might say that you need to allow access for Chrome to install apps. So it will give you a tutorial on how to do that. You just click on allow Google to install and then it'll bring you to settings. And then, yeah. But if you don't know how to do that, if it doesn't do that, you go into settings, then you want to type in apps. Now everybody's settings are going to be different. But you want to go into apps and you just want to find the app Google. Manage apps, Google Chrome, or guys typing Chrome. So just Chrome and just just Chrome. <laughs> and then what you want to do is you want to make sure install apps from unknown sources is un is checked. Yes. And then you're you'll be able to install the app. All right. And then you should have ES File Explorer on your home screen. If not, you can just search, scroll up, or go to an app searcher and type in ES File Explorer, and it should be there. Now what you want to do is click on internal storage. If you're not already there, you want to click on the three lines on the top left and hit on home. Internal storage. What you want to do is click on the three lines on the top right. And then what you want to do is click on new folder and then type in DC in lowercase. When you do that, you will see the recast icon pop up on that folder. Now what you want to do is extract your BIOS file, which will be this one right here. So what you want to do is hold it down, hit more on the bottom right, and then hit extract to. If you just install Recast, it's going to ask you if you want to install the 7-zip extractor. You hit OK, and that'll install it. And then what you want to do is, when this window pops up, you want to hit OK, and then it should just extract. Now what you want to do is click on the first one, when it says DC underscore BIOS dot bin, you want to hold it down, go at the bottom, hit rename, delete BIOS, and rename it to boot. So you're going to have DC underscore boot dot bin. Then what you want to do is hold it down and hit cut. Back, back. Alright, so you go back twice, or a third time to get to the back of this screen, and then go into DC. You want to create a new folder called data. And then you want to go into that folder and then paste the underscore BIOS or DC underscore boot dot bin. For some reason mine undid itself. I don't know why I did that. It uncut, but yeah. DC data paste. Alright. So now what you want to do is go back into download, and now you want to get your DC underscore flash dot bin, which will be this one. Which one is US? The last one is DC underscore flash dot bin that you want. So then, you don't have to change anything. All you have to do is hold it down and hit cut. Back, 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 back into DC and data. Paste. Alright, so now you successfully installed your BIOS. So now you can go into... Recast, and then you can hit Dreamcast BIOS, and then the Dreamcast BIOS will start up. 
Okay. So now what you want to do is get games. So I already have a few games in here. As you can see, I already have games here, but I will show you how to get one or get them just in case you do not know. So what you want to do is go back into Google and then type in vimm.net. Vim.net. And then what you want to do is go into the vault. And then you want to click on Dreamcast. Okay. And now you have all the ROMs to Dreamcast. They have literally every Dreamcast game you can think of. This site is just as good as MU Paradise. So you have Sonic Adventure 2. So you can click on find a game. All right. We can just do Sonic Adventure. Hit go. All right, so here's Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2. I'm gonna do Sonic Adventure 2. So you wanna hit download. And then that will begin to download. I'm going to cancel it because I already have the game. But after that's done, you do the same steps that you would do to extract the BIOS file. You would hold it down, hit more, and then hit extract 2, and then OK. It's gonna ask me to override it, just override it. Just overwrite them. Okay, so now let's pretend that this is our game file. All right, pretend this is Sonic Adventure 2. You would hit, hold it down, hit cut, back, back, back. And then what you want to do is you would hit paste. So you have it down here. You wanna go up to the right, top right, hit the three lines, hit new folder, and then type in DC games just like that all right and then you want to find your game hold it down cut find DC games which is right here and then you want to hit paste then after that you want to go back into recast settings and then where it says content location the one two three four the fifth one down you hit add and then you want to find it. Uh, where is it? Well, I have mine under Dream Games, but you, all of my games that I already have are under Dream Games, but you have to choose a folder that your games are already under. So after you click out, you hit select current directory. Hit done, and then your game should pop up. You just click on it, and then it just starts playing. So there you go, that is how you install Recast Emulator on your Android smartphone. And it works perfectly. It depends on what kind of phone you're using as well if it runs well. I'm using more of a higher end phone with a Snapdragon 735 processor and 6 gigabytes of RAM. I don't know how much is being used up right now, but yeah. So that is how you install Recast. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial if you like it make sure to like comment and subscribe and if you guys would like to know how to install a gamecast game did i say gamecast a gamecube emulator on your android smartphone let me know in the comments below because this is pretty fracking awesome to be able to run these games on a smartphone you also need quite a powerful phone to run these as well but if you do have that kind of phone if you have a samsung galaxy S like 8 and above, you should be able to run GameCube. Alright guys, this is going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have been asking for this for quite a while now. So here it is. I have remade it and I died. Oof. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to join my Discord server, which is down in the description below. I will be doing a... Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament very soon, and the first place winner will be winning a $25 eShop card. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and as we say, stay awesome. Alright. So just in case you guys want to know what kind of phone I am using, just so if you can pick it up for yourself so it runs. Um, it runs really well on this phone. This is called the Xiaomi. Mi 9T 
and it's actually also able to run GameCube. You guys, let me know if you want to know how to run Nintendo GameCube on your Android smartphone. As you can see, this runs really well as well. As you can see, I can run Nintendo GameCube games as well at a perfect 30 FPS. It won't, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says 30, it's 30 FPS. So I can run GameCube games at a perfect steady 30 FPS. So if you guys would like to know how to run GameCube on your phone, let me know in the comments below.